Good day, good people. This is just a brief introduction to a motorcycle I bought about a year ago. Um, it is a Honda CGL125 tool. And it is a piece of shit. I am so sorry I bought this thing. Uh, mainly because, let me just check my notes here. Well, the, I've had a few of these. This is like the third one I've had. Um, the other two, because I live in Mexico, I had to buy new in Mexico, of course. Um, the other ones I bought were in the UK. They were used. But the, the quality of this one compared to those two, which were far, far older, is despicable. I'm not sure which country this was made in. I don't know, originally they were made in Japan, I think until like 92. But this one, I'm not sure if it's one of the Pakistan, Turkey, or Brazil bikes. I really don't know. Um, I think I should check the engine number in to, to, to find out. But the quality of this thing is just, this, it is terrible. The, every, I mean, in, this is new. And the, just the panel fit. I mean, this is lined up and fitted correctly. The tank is on correctly, but... It is just really, really bad, and I'm so disappointed with it. Uh, more so for the shop I bought it from, and the shop I bought it from, the people just a piece of shit. Um, it had a bunch of problems when I bought it, uh, only one of which, which they fixed. It has done, let's see, it's done 900 and, what's that? 900 and well the nearest damage it's rolling over to 940 kilometers uh which is about 540 miles and the fork seal has blown now when i bought this this fork seal had blown in the shop i told them to fix it and they fixed it but 540 miles later the second one has blown now i hardly ever use this um, I've had it almost a year now, but because I'm going back and forth forwards to the, uh, England, um, was it the reason I haven't made any videos, is that uh, um, I can't understand why this fork seal has blown. And I'll, um, I will never, ever, ever go back to the shop I bought it from. They were just cowboys. I give them a list of things to fix on it, and I didn't do any of them, apart from the fork seal. The gear change on it is abysmal. Change tension, change tension is okay. Um, not sure they changed the oil. Um, when it came to them, I'm not sure what happened to the original battery because let me just take this battery cover off here. And this battery cover, as well as a joke, has a key. You don't need it. You can literally open it with anything. Um, the bike this is a second battery that I had to buy did not get this from the dealer I just got it from a local bike shop it's a gel battery it cost about $30 um, it start, it start, when I was cranking it on the power starter it just started failing um, it would like crank like six times and then the battery would just die told him about it oh it's out of the warranty because the warranty is here in Mexico of Fucking bollocks. They are absolutely shit. Oh, you only get three months on a, um, on electrical components. Two-year warranty on the motor. This is my fault for not checking, by the way. They said to me, the salesman said to me, um, you get a two-year warranty with the bike. After I bought it, I didn't check, remember. He said to me, it's only a two-year warranty on the motor if it's dealer serviced. The rest of the bike, <laughs> good fucking luck with that. Um... It's a manual choke, which is, can't really see that. Can, can you see that? Oh, I'm trying to get the phone to see it. There's a lever here, a little lever. And this is the choke lever on this. Down is off, up is on. And boy, does it need it. Um, I need to service it. I need to change the oil. I need to recheck the chain tension. I need to recheck the brakes. I've got to do that fork seal. And, and a few other things. Um, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. 
Yeah, so the original battery failed, so I replaced this one, which was really, really easy. Just take off this band and, you know, the usual connectors, and it was fine. And this battery hasn't failed. It is just super powerful cranking speed, which I will demonstrate. Right, on the old battery, the battery would be dead by now. So what I'm, what I'm pretty sure they just put a used battery on it when they got it. Uh, again, the gear... I, I, I'm absolutely convinced, right, that this is, um, when they gave this to me, it was used unregistered because I, I had to register it and the registration and I checked with the police, it did say I was the fit original registered owner, but that means nothing. Um, the Especially with the fork seals going. I was, did check it over and I checked all the numbers and everything like that and you know, I checked the mileage, which had one kilometer on it when I got it, but you know, these things can be these these things can be changed really easy. Uh, fuel gauge doesn't work properly. Um, it does go full, but it shows like a quarter of a tank when it's still like three quarters full. I'm not even going to bother with that. Yeah. What else? I have no confidence in this machine with my old Hondas. And I've, I've always had Hondas, apart from the other Yamaha and Kawasaki. I would go anywhere on it. My old CG, I would go to the moon on it. Just by, I would check the oil for this also. That chrome's coming off already. The, um, the, I would have gone to the moon on it. It was like a 1979 one, and it never missed a beat. Got stolen, though. Well, never mind. Um... This one sounds like a bag of shite. It's not warm, it's cold. Look at this. So let me just try and see if it'll start on half choke. Oh, she fired up first time. And it is a really hot day today, by the way. And that is the typical CG125 noise. But <laughs> this is a really annoying thing. Right, okay, watch this. When it's ticking over, put it on the other side. When it's ticking over, See the whole bike shakes, which is yeah, it's a single cylinder. But if I just take the tension off the brake lever, watch this, it stops. How odd is that? Now, I've been looking for the cable route and things like that because it's really annoying when it's shaking like this at the lights. But watch the indicator. Watch, I'll just pull the brake. Not the indicator didn't stop, but the rest of the bike did. Just an odd little quirk. Um, what else? Uh, it struggles to accelerate. It, it went back a number of times and they said they adjusted the carburetor. The gear change is appalling. I asked them to, uh, to fix it. Look at this. <laughs> this is how new it is, look. I'm even taking that off. They said uh, they couldn't open the case without, um, without um, an order. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just fix it on myself. The... I will be doing a service on it very shortly. Um, what else? What have I done to it? Okay, I replaced the battery. I fitted this case. Um, I did change the... I haven't brought it with me. You can see this. I did change the original light bulb. Um, I've played a short video of it and you'll see it. Um, this is an LED one, which is very cheap and it is so so much better than the original anemic Honda one. I'll insert a little clip here where you can see, like, you can still see the pilot light, the um, side light here, um, which is an incandescent bulb as opposed to the old headlight. Turn this off now. Um, and the, the, the original headlight was just pathetic. I thought the, it was so bad, I thought the uh, generator was bad. But when after I put this LED one in, it was just, oh, it's great. It's love it. Cost like nine dollars and it was just this screw and the one on the other side to replace um unplug it plug it back in jobs are good and the 
what else? The because the um the forks have lost their oil um and has been checked and they're going out. The brakes are yeah they're adequate. I mean I weigh about what 260 pounds. Um, and when I say it struggles to accelerate, I don't mean it's because I'm fat. I mean it's hesitant. It it holds back. It it it's like boop, 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 boop. you you're trying to go, and it won't go up a hill at all. When I go up to the hill to the Costco here, it just constantly wants to cut out. And as to for going into my local car park, forget it. It won't even go up the ramp. Um, so I've got to take the carburetor off to check the needle position. Uh, What else? The I adjusted the shock absorbers, didn't I? Oh no, the shock absorbers you can adjust by turning this net, this um, castellated nut here. I actually thought I'd put this down to the bottom one because the ride is kind of firm, even for my uh, stature. Um, and what else? Hopefully, after I have done, you know, all this, you see all this, this is just open to the weather. This is just no confidence at all. I'm pretty sure on my old one that it was, these were covered up better. I know they're meant to hide behind this lip of the side panel. But I honestly don't think that's enough. It just seems wrong. Seems like a cheaper motorcycle to me. What did this cost me? Oof. It cost me about $1,500. No, 29,600 pesos, which I guess is about $1,500, uh, which of course I pay cash for because uh, I don't want any finance or credit. Um, and I will take it for a ride to demonstrate the problems going up hills again, which I think is more due to the, uh, the tuning of the car better and the the needle position, which I will change, hopefully to uh, uh, improve its acceleration and pickup. Um, when it's hot and it's idling well, and you know it's been done a few kilometres or a few miles, you know, typical. If you just do this, it will cut out. <coughs> Don't remember my old ones doing that, but there we go. What does it do? It does about. It doesn't do it anywhere near the quoted. It's really dusty. It hasn't been washed because it's been stored so much. Um, it does about... Um, it's meant to do 50 or so kilometres to the litre, uh, which works out about... It's meant to do, like, say, 100 miles per gallon. It doesn't do that. Uh, if it does 70, I'll be surprised. Um, and the reason I bought it, actually, was because of the... Uh, uh, surging cost of fuel prices here in Mexico, which is really stupid. And the other vehicles I use, my truck in the Voyager and stuff, which is over there, um, which is fixed by the way. Um, they use fuel like it's going out of, uh, like it's going out of fashion. Okay, that is a very brief uh, introduction. I will do a video of me riding it. And then we'll do some maintenance. It just feels, you know, you, you, you buy something and it just feels wrong. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can let's see if I can make it any better. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to, all that stuff, and I'll try and make some more videos uh, in the near future. Okay, thanks for now.